ladies and gentlemen welcome back today we're back on space haven and we're trying to keep our crew alive as our basic resources are dwindling yeah this is not looking good uh we got a second solar panel up and running we have one day worth of uh, energy and two day worth of food left so this is not going well all right it's day 37 and the asteroids have become a nuisance so we're gonna be jumping out of here just so that we don't get hit by any more asteroids and uh, we're gonna go uh, south to this derelict we haven't explored this just yet so let's see what we can get from here and we've got MFS Atlantic conveyor over here and we've got some uh, iBots here Not sure but what are those things seem called yeah, I need to check where whether they actually have a name, but yeah, iBot seem to be a good name from them. And that is, that is actually a... That is a bot name from some game. I can't remember what game used iBots. And we got Esme over here. And uh, same thing as with Janet. We don't have uh, room for uh, Esme either. So... Um, poor Esme, he's just gonna be sleeping while we uh, scrap the whole ship around him. I think that's uh, him. Yeah, that's yeah, doesn't matter whoever that person is. He, uh, yep, yep, that person will be sleeping for the rest of the game, I think. We're not gonna take uh we're not gonna open that chamber plenty of uh, bots here just take them all down and explore the rest of the ship hopefully we will not destroy uh any of those pieces that would allow uh, that would give us uh infra scrap and done With the food levels going down, it's time to make the LG, LG dispenser. The crew will not like this, but it will provide them with some kind of food so that they will not starve to death. And I think that's preferable. Not sure what the crew thinks though. Yeah, they might not, uh, they might think otherwise. Uh, another good thing has happened, SGS term spike it has come to uh, trade with us from the uh, Slavers Guild. So yeah, okay, not the best uh, trading partners I think, but uh, oh well. Um, if they keep us alive, I'm not gonna judge. Not now, we'll, we'll judge later once we're uh, on our feet and able to... Uh, Show no mercy. And we finally built the X1 power generator. Uh, we have three soul panels and with the X1 power generators, we have uh, 25 days worth of energy. And that's great, that's fantastic. Um, it will give us some breathing room. So now we just gotta make sure we can get the food production up and running and we should be good to go. All right, at this point, I wanna point out something. Uh, I did a short stream at this point and uh, well, first thing I noticed that was that uh, Streamlabs wanted me to accept some kind of a um, uh, cookie uh, thingy, and I had some problems with it. Like, it took me like 15 minutes to get that accept uh, 
uh, window or asset button to show up and uh, yeah it took me a while to get that sort out and another thing that I kind of notice is that uh, my laptop cannot handle both streaming and recording the video it could be something in the settings could be something in um in my con in my internet connection or, or whatever but anyway i was losing uh, i was losing a lot of uh, frames and at the end of the video i think i lost a large chunk of the video so yeah there's some uh, there's some uh, missing parts unfortunately Right now we are on day 38, we don't have any fertilizer and uh, yeah, we need to get that chemical refinery built so that we can get our food production up, uh, otherwise we're gonna be starving here. And to give our crew something to do, we're gonna be jumping out of uh, this star system. Uh, we will be uh, jumping through a few systems to clear out a few of the derelicts we have uh, not completely cleared out. So we can get some uh, whole pieces and anything we left behind and hopefully use that as currency where, well, as we buy fertilizer and other stuff from the ships we come in contact with. Now, as I said before, uh, during the stream, the uh, video recording stopped, or I stopped and uh, didn't remember to restart the uh, recording. So I lost a clip here. We are now on the next star system. And uh, we have this uh, derelict here. Uh, I think this was MAS Net Pirates Galleon which we have already cleared out and we are now scrapping it and picking up everything we can from it. It was filled with those um, um, iBots I and uh, yeah, we got, we got rid of them and now we're just clearing it out. But unfortunately, I lost the clip uh, leading to this part. Something I want to point out is that when you're looking at the star system on the uh, bigger screen, you can't see the name of the star system where you are as the player lo the player uh, I am here logo is right on top of that uh, name, which is kind of annoying. So I hope they fix that in uh, later versions. I might do a bug report if there's a bug report feature. I need to check that out. As we are clearing out the derelict, we do have a civilian base here. Or no, this is I think this is a military base. Um, they do offer a mission I could accomplish and uh, a potential trait. Uh, but I'm not too keen on taking on the missions right now because um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried that I might fail them as I don't know where I'm supposed to be going and all that and how the missions actually how they are accomplished. So I'm not going to do that just yet. But I am trading some uh, some uh, unnecessary things. But, well, things I consider unnecessary at this point for some fertilizer, as it will mean that we'll get some more food. And we're still doing the chemical refinery here. One thing I know this is that we have some human corpses and uh, which we have gotten from uh, derelict ships. No, we haven't done any combat yet. Or, we, 
with uh, pirates and all that. No, 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 we haven't done that. We do have also have a compost, and we can compost the human corpses. It will give us some uh, raw chemicals, water, and carbon, which are very useful. I mean, water um, useful for uh, crow beds and and the um, the oxygen production. Uh, the raw chemicals we can turn into chemicals, which we can turn into fertilizer, and the carbon can be used for steel production and uh, oh, let's see, um, there were some other things. Uh, I think it was ammunition, yeah, explosive ammunition. Well, some, some, uh, something that we can use for trading, for example. No, wait, no, it was. I think it was plastics. Yeah, I think it was plastics. We can, we can do plastics with the uh, carbon. Looking at the uh, water vapor overlay, we have some water vapor on the aft section of the ship and uh, on the middle part of the ship as well. So we need some water collectors to get rid of that. Actually, we're, it doesn't. I don't think it harms the ship, but we do want to collect the water as we can use that for the crow beds and the oxygen production. And as we're moving the uh, corpses to the compost, we've got the chemical refinery done. So now we can start refining the raw chemicals into something more useful and more profitable. And as we are building things, uh, Teddy tends to go on and build things. However, his uh, construction ability is like one. So I don't want Teddy to be building anything. So I really do need to change a little bit of the priorities. So that, yeah, Teddy, do anything else. Don't build. Let someone else handle the building. Because you're just terrible at it. Absolutely terrible at building things. Don't build anything, Daddy. Let someone else do it. And here's a neat setting that I found. So you can uh, change the order uh, which the different resources show up on the screen. And you can also set up whether they are show, whether the uh, zero is shown as well. So you can see that there are a few uh, zero items which are still shown up on the screen. I really like this feature. Also, one thing I want to note, uh, if you are uh, accustomed to playing space sims or any kind of a uh, simulation game where you have logistics, uh, I do need to point out that the logistics I have on my ship are just absolutely terrible. Um, at some point I will have to do a complete reconstruction of the ship or what's inside of the ship. But that time is not now, but eventually I will need to change where everything is on the ship as this is just not a good way to build and uh, yeah I might actually do a tutorial on that at some point I'm not the best uh, person when it comes to logistics despite the fact that logistics is my my real real day job uh, well it is in the logistics department but oh well Okay, we finally got the chemical refinery done. We had to remove the energy power generator and one of the uh, water collectors to actually get the blocks we need to actually make this thing, but we finally got it. Now we can start working on uh, refining some chemicals to make something more, yeah, more profitable and most importantly we can get fertilizer done which means we can get uh, 
our food production well we can stabilize our food production so what we need is raw chemicals to turn into chemicals and those we can turn into fertilizer and now the rest of the stuff or they're not interested at this point another thing we want to build is the ore processor as that would allow us to mine the precious ores and we can use the ores to make um, some uh, well sellable items so we're not gonna build the uh, ore processor and the uh, refinery which will allow us to turn energy crystals into energy rods and we can also do, do hyper fuel uh, even though I don't think we're actually using hyper fuel or well the engines we currently have can't really use the hyper fuel and with that it's time to call it a day thank you all for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i hope you will be returning for the next episode